Welcome to North Cascades Institute. I'm Molly Harrigan, the Education Manager here. And uh, since we're not able to have you come up, I decided to teach from campus today. So you can see the trees outside and I'm not able to show you the lake because we lose service. Uh, so in lieu of that, I wanted to show you just a quick couple of pictures to bring you to place. So, oops, I gotta share the image with you. So here's a picture on your way up to the North Cascades. This is from the New Halem Bridge and you can just see how beautiful the colors are right now. Maybe it looks familiar to you. Show you this, the dandelion. Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the life cycle of a plant and I wanted to bring a little bit of cheer and sunshine into our day so we can see these beautiful yellow flowers. Uh, perhaps they grow in your yard or along the highways. Um, they can be great medicine and good benefit for us too. And their energy uh, moves up into the flower and then back down into the earth. So we've got that image of what we're looking at here. And I just uh, want to let you know that we'll be practicing some pretty gentle yoga today, maybe some partner things. Um, and if I ever recommend something that doesn't feel good to your body, please listen to it. Listen to your own body. Uh, you'll know it better than I ever could. And so we want to be able to honor that. You'll also get some time to do partner poses if you're with your family today. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to show you one more image. And that is what happens when the dandelion is ready to ready to fruit and, or sorry, to, to go to seed. So you may have seen this in your house before when the yellow ends up turning into these white puff balls. And if you look onto the black screen, you can see that that white part is really acting as a way to get it through the air like a parachute. And then the brown at the end is the seed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start our breath here and you can imagine that you're blowing the seeds off the dandelion head. If you want to get close to the computer, you can to blow it, but we're going to do five breaths to try to spread these seeds. This is what creates the new life. Let's go ahead, take a deep breath in and then blowing out. Breathing in. Sometimes I make wishes on these, so you can put an intention or a wish into your next breath. Two more times. And final one. And you can bring your hands to your heart or over your heart, recognizing that your practice has started, a good way to be with your family and also with yourself. Good. So here we come uh, into the seed pod. We are officially dandelions now, so release the hands, open the eyes. We're going to go ahead and inhale, drawing those seeds into the sky. And the wind is very windy here, so go ahead and bring the arms off to one side and then the other. Floating through the air, maybe even swirling. Sometimes our wind here gets doing crazy things. You can go any direction that you like to wake up the arms and wake up our shoulders and start settling it down a little bit more. So you're getting lower to the ground. The wind is, maybe it's around seven o'clock at night. That's when our wind starts calming down lately. Bringing the self to the ground, good. So now our body is towards the earth. Here we're gonna start trying to dig our way in because seeds like to be in soil. So we're gonna come into child's pose as a little seed pod. The hips are back towards the heels. From here, we're gonna inhale up through tabletop. 
And we're going to try to work our way into the earth by drawing down belly to the floor. Good. And then just like other seeds, they got to kind of get covered by the dirt. So we're going to move through this, reaching through a table and back in the child's pose. This is called little piece of heaven. It's a beautiful way to start our day. So we'll inhale up. Work the seed pod down into the earth. Pushing back up and back. And as we come onto our bellies for this last time, we're gonna know that we're nested in the earth and maybe there's some warm sunshine, definitely plenty of water. And we're gonna lift our seed heads out of the soil a little bit. The head and the shoulders lift up too. Yeah. You know what it's like to be <clears throat> coming out of the earth. Good, and then rest down, take one cheek to the floor. One breath here. And then with more energy of the seed, we're gonna lift up maybe a little bit higher. The elbows are pulling into the body. One more breath here. And rest the cheek to the other side. And last time, inhaling up, maybe even a little bit more, pushing the tops of the feet into your mat or the carpet. Good. Forehead touches down. We're going to come into tabletop because we're growing out of the soil. And stretching ourselves into cat pose, rounding the belly, tucking the chin. And inhale to cow pose. So belly sinks, the head lifts, corners of the mouth turn up. Good. Round the spine, tuck the chin. You could even meow like a cat if you want. <laughs> and inhale, belly sinks, head lifts. To the vaca, the cow. And from here, we're going to come into puppy dog. The seed is starting to turn into a little sprout, so we're unfurling. We tuck the toes, and knees lift off the ground just a little bit. Good. Feel the strength in the arms, and then we Send our tail back into downward facing dog. Our little seedling is growing. So you can pedal the feet out, one heel down, and then the next. Take one breath out the mouth, just like you did when you were spreading the seeds. From here, we're going to go ahead and take our feet and walk them up towards the hand, coming into a forward fold. Shake the head out. Yes and no. Good. Clasp your hands together. Place them at the base of the spine where it meets your skull and just allow that weight to give you a little bit of neck traction. So we're pulling gently. One more breath. And release the hands. And one of my favorite parts is rolling ourselves up. So this seedling is coming and joining to the sky until we come up to standing. Nice. It's beautiful to see you. Sunshine's lovely. <laughs> we'll come into mountain pose, maybe pyramid peak pose. So roll the shoulders back. Good. Here we are in the full expression of the dandelion. We'll inhale the arms up. Good. And then palms together. A couple of standing poses here. We'll take our right foot forward and the left foot back. The hands can be on the hips. Nice. Our hips are pointing forward. This is a high lunge. We'll inhale, bring the arms up. Good. I notice sometimes the shoulders come up. Send the shoulders down into your back pockets. 
Nice strong bodies, good work. Good. <clears throat> so we'll notice the daytime and the nighttime. A lot of times at night it gets cooler, darker, and our plants start to close up a little bit, just like we do when we go to bed. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the belly button towards the inside, and we're gonna go ahead and draw the body down and the arms come up a little bit. And so it's like being nighttime with our plants. And then we'll inhale, coming back into that high lunge. Daytime, even maybe open the shoulders, heart reaches towards the sky. Two breaths here. Good. Then we go ahead, rounding down, coming back into that nighttime position. This is also called humble warrior, the surrender. Lots of surrendering these days. <laughs> Inhale, raise the arm up one last time. Good. And it can be midtime for fun, so come into warrior two, the right arm is forward. Looks like you have a bow and arrow, perhaps. Good. One arm forward. Check in with your right knee. Sometimes my right knee caves in a little, so we'd like to draw it back towards the second or the third toe. And reach forward. And then palm flips, reaching back. Three breaths here. If you like a little bit of neck stretch, you can take that right arm, that top arm, and reach it towards the floor a little bit and roll the side of the neck gently. Good. You've taken neck release. Go ahead, bring it back with the rest of the group, and then we'll come back to warrior two. Good. And then we'll go ahead into side angle, right elbow to knee, sweeping up. Good. Notice where we can let go. So we've got the effort. And then what don't we need to hold? What don't we need to control as much? From here, go ahead and inhale back up through warrior two. And hands to the hips. And then turn the feet so that you're sideways on your mat. And we're gonna come into the nighttime one more time by folding forward. So a wide leg forward fold here. And we'll make it a little bit windy in the evening. Sometimes we've got storms out here. So we're just going to allow the right knee to bend. Nice, and the left knee to bend. You can add arms if you like, maybe some of the pedals are flying. You can enjoy the transitions. Once you've balanced out, Come back through the middle, hands to the hips, and come on up to standing. Good. So we'll go ahead and take our toes towards each other, heels towards each other, toes, heels, toes, heels, <laughs> and then turn to the front of your mat. Right, we'll go to the second side so that we're balanced. So high lunge here, the left foot forward, the right foot back. Hips are pointing towards the front of the mat, and let's go ahead, we'll clasp behind the back, roll the shoulders open, and allow the heart to lift. And then go ahead and turn that back foot about 45 degrees, release your hands, and we're gonna go ahead back into nighttime. And inhale, coming up through high lunge. So there's a little pivoting in the back foot. Really nice job. 
Good. And then go ahead. It's nighttime again. Lifting up. And last time. Exhale. And inhale. From here, we're going to come into midday warrior two. So the left arm, left foot or forward. It's like that bow and arrow on the second side. Reach towards the front of the mat and then back. Check in with your left knee. Make sure it's tracking over the second and third toe. Good. If you'd like a neck stretch on this side, keep your upper body still. And then we take that left arm, reaching it forward. Maybe rolling the neck a little bit. Good. If you've taken the neck release, you can join everyone in the exaltation. Good. Coming back through warrior two. Left elbow to knee. Side angle. Five breaths here. And then inhale back up through warrior two. Good. Take your toes pointing towards the side of the room. And actually we'll take our toes pointing out because we're gonna come into horse stance. <laughs> Imagine that if you had a tail, you could tuck it just a little bit. And we'll inhale into a star. Exhale. Down. Good. Two more times, inhaling up. Waking our legs up. Last time. Good. From here, go ahead and take your hands to your hips. And well, toes, heels. I think people call it the Charlie Chaplin. Then we go ahead and we'll come down to our seats, moving our way into the seed stage again. So we've blown some of those seed pods back off. And now we're gonna get to hang out with some of our other seed friends. So if you have a partner, we're gonna move into partner boats. So you would face your friend, and I have an imaginary friend right here. <laughs> What we'll do, and if you're by yourself, you can take your hands down by the sides. Good, and then we're gonna lift our feet. If you have a friend's feet to join, you can. <laughs> so it would be feet to feet. Good. So variations on this would include raising the arms up. Could be straightening the legs. Could be opening the heart. There's a lot of variations. So take your variation today. Good. Join feet, friends. Good. Then we go ahead, lengthen that out. Inhale, the arms up. And exhale, forward fold. So our plant is starting to lose energy in the aerial parts, the above ground parts. And now our seed is starting to work its way back into the earth and the, the nutrition and the medicinal value move back into the roots. If you're interested in the plant medicine, it can be a really great liver cleanser, part of the detox system. Good. We're going to come up into boat a second time. Inhale, the arms up, bend the knees, and maybe bring them up. If you have a friend, you can feet to feet. For three, two, one. Go ahead and bring that down. 
If you have a partner, you can go back to back for this one. If you're by yourself, you can leave your legs straight out. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit of a twist. We'll take our, if you have a friend, you'd be back to back and what you would each do is look over your own right shoulder and maybe hold on to uh, the leg or the waist of your partner. Yeah, nice job. And if you're by yourself, you can go ahead and take that right knee up, looking over the right side. And we'll take five breaths here, using your partner for support. And also being a supporter, a reciprocity, giving and receiving. One more breath. And go ahead and unwind. And if you're with your partner, you can go ahead and switch sides. If you're by yourself, same thing. <laughs> go ahead and take your twist. So this can also be a great way to unwind at the end of the day or if we're feeling a little bit stressed out. Two more breaths here. Good, go ahead and unwind. And then we'll take our legs straight out in front of us. If you had a partner, you can thank your partner. <laughs> And we're going to be returning to the earth. So inhale, the arms up, forward fold one more time. Nodding the head, yes or no. And then we'll slowly bring ourselves back up. And then to laying on the back. So it's time for the energy of the dandelion to return into the earth. Maybe those top parts have browned and started to degenerate. And then we'll take the knees to the chest, rocking left and right just a little bit. From here, we'll take the right ankle over the left knee, threading the needle, maybe holding behind the left thigh or the left shin. Flex the right ankle to protect the knee. And you can if you want to add on, roll your left ankle in one direction and then the other. Go ahead and release this, switch sides, left ankle over the right knee. Flex the left knee. Sorry, flex the left ankle to protect the knee. And if you add it onto the first side, rolling right ankle one direction, and then other. And then we'll unwind this, coming into a little bit of a yogi ball into that really cozy winter space that hopefully dandelions get to have. So snuggle yourself in, bring the chin in towards the chest. Take two breaths. Good. And then we're gonna go into hibernation, <laughs> shavasana. Take the legs long. 
arms come down by the sides. The eyes can close. This is quite a bit like a nap. Feel what it's like to be inside your dandelion roots. We'll be here for about one more minute, allowing ourselves to let go, to soften. Start to allow small movements into hands and feet. Maybe rocking neck one side to the other. Taking a deep breath in. And the lion breath blowing out. Stretch in any way that helps you feel more awake. Roll onto one side. And bring yourself on up to a seat. So with our eyes soft or still closed, we can think, did we make a wish or an intention at the beginning of our practice before we blew the seats away? Remembering what that was. Tucking it into our heart space. Knowing that, that that wish or that hope, intention can be shared out with all other living beings. Bring our palms together at the heart. Thanks for starting your day with North Cascades Institute. I'm very happy to get to practice with you. Namaste. <laughs>